So GPT translate, uh, as, it names, as its name suggests, it helps you translate. So let's say that I have this text here, uh, cool off with our delicious treats, and I want it in Spanish. So I will say GPT translate. I will take this text here, and then I will specify the target language. As you can see, you need a target language. Uh, so I will say Spanish. And usually it works better if I specify the, the source language. So there we go. Okay. Uh, I am not a Spanish speaker, so I will not pronounce this, but I will assume that it's actually uh, not bad. I, I will let the the native speakers uh, comment in the, I mean, give feedback in the comments. But as you can see, it's pretty easy. And of course, uh, you can use that to translate lots of text. Uh, you can also specify the language uh, here if you want to, and then change this, for instance, to cell. I will give the same result. Uh, you could change it to, I don't know, uh, German, just to show the, make a point. Okay, and I speak even less German than Spanish, so I will not, I'm not even able to judge if this makes sense. Hopefully it does. We could, we could actually like Google translate it back to English just to see what Google says, or actually Google translate uh, the original one, okay, into English, uh, into Spanish, uh, German, sorry. Oops, I'll manage it. This did not work. Okay, well, uh, seems like Google Translate works in a different way. Um, there we go. I think that's uh, a good demonstration. And please comment or ask questions in the comments.